Welcome and thank you for choosing the Mission HB hemoglobin testing system. This system is intended for the quantitative determination of hemoglobin and calculated hematocrit in capillary and venous whole blood. The Mission HB hemoglobin testing system includes the HB meter, 10 test strips, one code chip, 10 lancets, one lancing device, one lancing device insert, two control strips, one control strip insert, 10 capillary transfer tubes, three AAA batteries, one carrying case, one test strip insert, one user's manual, one quick reference guide, one warranty card. Installing the battery. To install the battery, turn over the meter to locate the battery compartment cover. Press in the direction of the arrow on the battery cover and slide the cover down to open it. Insert three AAA batteries into the battery compartment. Close the battery cover and make sure it snaps shut. The meter will automatically turn on after the batteries are inserted and will enter the time setting state. Press the right or left button to adjust the meter time setting of the year. Then press the power button to save. Press right or left to choose the correct month. Then press the power button to save. Press right or left to choose the correct date. And then press the power button to save. Press right or left to choose the correct hour. Press the power button to save and then proceed to choose the correct minutes. Press the power button to save the setting. After that, the meter turns off automatically. Coding the meter. Each time a new box of test strips is used, the new code chip included in the box must be inserted into the meter. Compare the code number on the code chip from the box with the code number printed on the test strips canister. It is important to do so because results may be inaccurate if the two numbers are not identical. Insert the correct code chip into the code chip slot of the meter. Meter setup before testing. To begin initial setup, press and hold the power button for 4 seconds after inserting the code chip to enter the meter setup mode. The test number setup screen will appear first. You can navigate between the different setup sub-modes by pressing right or left. From the test number setup screen, press the power button to select the test number setup in case the user needs to set the test number to a desired number. You can set the test number from 1 to 999 by pressing right or left until the desired number is displayed. Press the power button to save and return to the meter setup screen. Press the right button twice until the system setup screen appears. Press the power button to enter the system setup. The first option sets the clock to either 12 or 24 hour mode. Press right or left to switch between the two settings. Press the power button to save and advance to year setup. The year will appear at the top of the display. Press right or left until the correct year is displayed. Press the power button to save and enter month and date setup. The month and date will appear at the top of the display. They will be separated by a single dash with flashing month. Press right or left until the correct month is displayed. Press power button to save. The day will flash. Press right or left until the correct day is displayed. Then press the power button to save and proceed to time setup. The hour and minutes will appear at the top of the display. They will be separated by a colon with flashing hour. Press right or left until the correct hour is displayed. Press the power button to save and proceed to minutes. The meter will display AM or PM if the 12H time setting is chosen. Minutes will flash. Press right or left until the correct minutes are displayed. 
Press the power button to save and proceed to test number reset setup. Press right or left to turn the test number reset on or off. The test number will reset to 1 for each new day of testing when the test number reset is turned on. Press the power button to save and proceed to units setup. Press right or left to select either grams per deciliter, grams per liter, or millimoles per liter. Press the power button to save and proceed to sound setup. Press right or left to turn the sound on or off. The sound symbol will appear on the display when the sound is turned on. Press the power button to save and return to the setup screen. Press right or left until ELT is displayed and press the power button to exit setup. The screen will briefly go blank and display the initial screen. Testing. In this section, we will show the testing procedure in a professional environment. Specimen collection using a lancing device. Unscrew the lancing device cover from the body of the lancing device. Insert a sterile lancet into the lancet holder and push it until the lancet comes to a complete stop in the lancet holder. Hold the lancet firmly in the lancet holder and twist the safety tab of the lancet until it loosens. Then, pull the safety tab off of the lancet. Carefully screw the cover back onto the lancing device. Avoid contact with the exposed needle. Make sure the cover is fully seated on the lancing device. Adjust the puncture depth by rotating the lancing device cover. There are a total of six puncture depth settings. To reduce discomfort, use the lowest setting that still produces an adequate drop of blood. Use settings 1 and 2 for delicate skin, 3 and 4 for normal skin, or 5 and 6 for calloused or thick skin. Pull the cocking barrel back to set the lancing device. A click may be heard. The device is now loaded and ready to obtain a drop of blood. Massage the hand from the wrist up to the fingertip a few times to encourage blood flow. Clean the testing site by washing your hands with warm soapy water and then dry them thoroughly. You could also choose to use an alcohol swab instead to clean the testing site and then let it air dry completely before testing. Turn on the meter. To insert a test strip, open the canister and remove one test strip. Make sure you recap the canister after you're done. Firmly insert the test strip into the strip channel in the same direction as the arrows indicated on the strip. Ensure that the test strip is inserted all the way to the end of the strip channel until the white edge of the test strip above the black line is no longer visible. The blood drop symbol will flash when the meter is ready for the specimen to be applied. Make sure you write down the date on the canister if opened for the first time. Discard the canister and test strips after three months from the date the canister was opened. Hold the lancing device against the side of the finger to be lanced with the cover resting on the finger. Push the release button to prick the fingertip. Gently massage the surrounding area toward the puncture. Do not excessively squeeze the finger. Wipe away the first drop of blood. Apply light pressure to obtain a second drop of blood. Do not apply specimen sample directly on the test strip. Collect capillary blood of 10 microliters using a capillary transfer tube or pipette. The capillary transfer tube will fill automatically. It is important to use the capillary transfer tube to collect specimen in order to receive accurate results. Make sure the blood covers the air vent of the tube or it will be difficult to squeeze the blood out. Never squeeze the capillary transfer tube while sampling. Test processing and applying the blood. 
Apply the blood sample to the center region of the specimen application area of the test strip. The meter will begin testing automatically with three dashes in a line flashing on the display indicating the test is in progress. Results will be displayed in about 15 seconds with HCT value displayed at the bottom of the screen. The meter will automatically turn off after 8 minutes of inactivity or when the power button is pressed. Please follow proper precautions and obey all local rules when disposing of blood samples and materials. Venous blood testing. For professional testing using fresh heparinized or EDTA venous whole blood serum and heparinized plasma. Mix the specimen well, then collect 10 microliters of specimen into a plastic or glass capillary transfer tube or pipette. Apply it to the center region of the specimen application area of the strip without touching the test strip with the pipette or tube. The specimen must be tested within 8 hours of collection. Allow the specimen to come to operating room temperature for approximately 15 minutes if the specimen has been refrigerated. Anticoagulants other than EDTA and heparin are not recommended. Viewing stored records. To view stored records, from the initial screen, press right or left to show the first record. Press right or left to view each record in date, time, sequence. Press and hold the power button to return to the initial screen. If no data is stored, the meter will display one dash and MEM. Up to 999 test records are automatically stored in the memory. After 999 test records are stored, the oldest test record will be replaced by a new record. For example, if 999 records are stored in memory, the next thousandth test result will replace the first result stored in the memory. Clearing the memory. Extreme caution should be used when clearing the memory. This is not a reversible operation. To delete all data from the meter database, press and hold the power button to enter the setup menu. Press right or left until DEL is displayed. Press the power button to enable data deletion. MEM will be displayed. Press the power button to delete all the data in memory, then the meter returns to the setup menu. Press right or left until ELT is displayed, and press power button to exit the setup menu. Press the power button to turn off the meter. Performing an optical system check. The optical system check is performed to ensure that the meter's optical system is functioning properly. To perform an optical system check, press and hold the power button for four seconds to enter the setup screen. Press the right button to navigate from the setup screen to the optical check mode, CHE. Press the power button to enter this mode. The meter will flash the test strip symbol. Open the canister and remove a control strip. Make sure to recap the canister tightly. Firmly insert the control strip into the strip channel in the same direction as the arrows indicate. Ensure that the control strip is inserted all the way to the end of the strip channel. Make sure to write down the date on the canister if opened for the first time. Discard after one year from the date the canister was opened. Unopened canisters have a two-year shelf life. Discard after expiration date. Press the power button to start the optical check. If the meter displays yes, the meter is normal. If the meter displays no, the meter is not functioning properly. Check the control strip for contamination or to see if it is damaged. If there are any visible signs of damage or contamination, discard the control strip and retest using a new one.
press the power button to return to the setup screen or navigate to the ELT screen and press the power button to return to the testing screen. Performing a quality control test. A quality control test is performed to ensure that the test strips and the meter are working together properly and that you are performing the test correctly. Mission HB hemoglobin control solution testing is performed in a very similar manner to blood tests using the Mission HB hemoglobin control solutions instead of blood. The Mission HB hemoglobin control solutions include six bottles. Two Mission HB hemoglobin control solution level zero, two Mission HB hemoglobin control solution level one, two Mission HB hemoglobin control solution level two. Allow all test materials to reach a temperature between 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 to 30 degrees Celsius prior to testing. Turn on the meter. Check that the code chip number on the LCD screen matches the inserted code chip. Wait for the meter to flash the test strip symbol. Insert the strip completely into the strip channel in the same direction as the arrows printed on the test strip. The blood drop symbol will flash when the meter is ready for the specimen to be applied. While the blood drop symbol is still flashing, use a capillary transfer tube to apply 10 microliters of the control solution to the center of the specimen application area. Three dashes will appear on the meter to show the test is in progress. Read the results on the screen after 15 seconds. Interpreting results. If the result is within the range printed on the Mission HB hemoglobin control solution bottle label, the meter and test strip are performing properly. If the test value is outside of the range printed on the control solution bottle label, or if the meter is displaying an error message, see the control solution package insert for further instructions. Please contact your local distributor for additional information. Maintenance. For best results, the meter should be cleaned after each day of testing. Clean the meter surface with a dry or a damp cotton cloth. Use a dry soft cloth to clean the LCD. Remove the test strip holder by pressing in on the middle of the test strip holder and sliding it out from the meter. Wipe it down with a damp cloth or a mild detergent and dry it with a dry soft cloth. Wipe down the meter sensor area with a cotton swab. Make sure you do not scratch the transparent window covering the sensors. Slide the test strip holder back into the meter. If the meter is used for self-testing on multiple patients, it should also be disinfected before each test to prevent potential infectious disease transmissions through blood-borne pathogens. For disinfection, please use EPA-registered wipes with active isopropyl alcohol to wipe the meter. Be sure to wet the entire meter surface thoroughly and remove any stains or debris. The meter surface must remain visibly wet for one full minute and then allow the meter to air dry completely before using it again. Troubleshooting. This table displays some of the errors you might encounter and the actions you will need to take in order to solve the problem. Please refer to the user's manual for more detailed instructions. The Mission HB hemoglobin testing system offers accurate and precise results at your convenience. Please refer to the manual for detailed instructions.